brothers, just join us in worship. Welcome to Christ Global Gospel Ministry. As we enter another wonderful day, to thank God, to lift up His name above all things. Worship with us. Father, we are here again. Everlasting Father, God of glory, God of honor, the God that liveth forevermore, the God that died for the sake of man and resurrected on the third day, the God that is seated upon his throne and liveth forevermore. We declare your glory, we worship you. Lord Jesus, we declare your glory, we declare your name over the entire creation. For you alone, you are God. You are God the Father, you are God the Son, you are God the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, for your presence that continues to abide with us. Thank you for this day that you have made. Even this day of your resurrection. This day, Lord, that you have made for your people to behold your glory. We come gather in your name. Father, wherever we are, we all come in agreement to worship you. We come in agreement to declare your glory your glory and to thank you for the entire deliverance that you gave unto us. Thank you, Lord, for your total control. Holy Spirit, we exalt your name. We welcome you, dear Father. You are he that is in us that has overcome. He that is in the world. Father, grant us a spirit of joy. Grant us a spirit of gratitude. Grant us a spirit of thanksgiving. Grant us a spirit of worship. As we come into your presence right now, Father, may your prayers come upon us. I pray for all my brethren joining this program right now, joining this service. Lord, we are one in you, in the spirit. We all come unto you, the order of our soul, the beginning and the end. We come unto you, the God that is able to do all things. Father, we pray, may your prayers abide with everyone that is in this program right now. Everyone serving you, spirit and in truth. Father, abide with them in their homes, in their vehicles, in their workplaces, in wherever they find themselves right now. May your prayers be upon your people in the name of Jesus. Father, reach out to everyone that call upon their name this hour, that come to thank you. Father, may everyone be lifted up from wherever they are. Let your power of resurrection, let it come upon everyone in the name of Jesus. Father, in your presence, fullness of joy. In your presence, total liberty. 
I declare the liberty in the name of Jesus to visit every home, every life, every business, every career, every marriage, every child and every parent. Father, let your resurrection spirit, let your spirit of liberty, let you visit everyone right now in the name of Jesus. I set you free from every affliction, from every chase of hell, from every demonic powers. Father, let your fire devour and destroy everything you have not ordained concerning your people, concerning your church, every kingdom of darkness. Father, let them be destroyed by your fire in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. And I bless your name. I worship you. Abide with us, O Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Fellowship with us today. Reach out right now. Touch every soul right now. Touch every body right now. Touch every spirit right now. I invite you, Lord. Father, take total dominion. Receive all the glory. Receive all the glory. Receive all the glory. Lord Jesus, receive all the glory. Holy Ghost, take total dominion. Of this entire room, of this entire land, of the entire atmosphere, of the entire, entire creation. Holy Ghost, take total dominion. Reign forevermore. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. We plead your blood that is shed on, on, on the cross of Calvary upon every soul, everyone that is fellowship with us today. Let it prevail. Let it speak for our favor. Let it speak for our good. Thank you, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Excellent is your name. Amen, amen. Brethren, you are all welcome to Christ Global Gospel Ministry. Welcome our brethren in Italy. Welcome our brethren in UK here, in Leeds, in Torino, in Novara, in Italy, in Benin City, Nigeria. Welcome all our brethren, wherever you are, whatever denomination you belong to, it doesn't matter unto Christ. You are a child of God. We are one and the same. We welcome you right now to this service. And we are trusting God that God will use it to do something fundamental. Amen. And turn your life around. Amen. To become according to His will. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the Holy Ghost will abide with you. Amen. That the Holy Ghost will lift up your spirit. Amen. Every spirit of bondage, He will set you free from Amen. it. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brethren, I always encourage, try and fellowship and worship. And, and praise God ever before we come on air. So that you'll be in that mood because we wouldn't want to take too much time. We'll just do some brief uh, praise and worship as we've been doing since. And then we'll go into God's word. And as, as God leads us, we'll also do the prayers. Of prayers. And uh, I'm trusting God that he is the one that is going to do it for you today. Amen. Man can't do nothing. But God is able to do all things. Amen. 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 Praise and worship. What are we doing today? Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in prayer. What are you doing today? Oh, today, oh, today, oh, I will lift up my voice in prayer. For all I know. To worship me, a day to be joyful, he's resurrected, he's seated upon the throne, and he reigned forevermore. When success comes my way, we praise the Lord. What are we doing today?
stand up and be praising God. Be praising Him for what He has done, no man can do. No matter what they say, when success goes my way, I will praise the Lord. I will continue to praise the Lord. I will continue to praise the Lord. I will never tire. I will continue to praise the Lord. I will never tire. We will continue to praise our God. I will never tire. We will continue to praise His name. I will never tire. You will continue to praise the Lord. Sing, sing, the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, sing, the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Father, we exalt your name. Father, we exalt your name. Lord Jesus, we exalt your name. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for granting us your kingdom. 
Thank you for coming to us according to your name. We shall reign with you, O oh Lord, forevermore. Welcome among us tonight. So this afternoon, touch every soul, touch every life, touch every home. Let everything turn around for our good. In the name of Jesus, let your Holy Ghost come into our lives. Come and do what only you can do. Come and do what only you can do. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit come and take to that control. Living Spirit of God, come and take to that control. Come upon every soul right now. Come upon everyone that is here and those that are listening right now, those partic participating, wherever they are. Holy Spirit, come and take total control. We trust you, Lord. We depend on you. We confess we have no power of our own. Wherever you are, O oh Lord, there's absolute peace. There's total healings. There's total joy. Let your joy, let your peace, let your healings, let your life come upon every soul right now. Holy Spirit, move once again among men. Move, O oh Lord. For the word says, wherever that living water, wherever that river flows to, healings will come, life will come, deliverance will come. Holy Ghost, come now. Come into every home and let life come upon that home. Let healings come upon that home. Let joy come upon that home. Holy Ghost, flow once again to these desolate places, to these deserts. Flow to this wilderness and let life spring up in every life, in every soul upon this land. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we need you. We need your presence. We need your fellowship. We cannot do without you. Holy Ghost, flow. Flow once again. Holy Ghost, move once again. Rain the heavens. Holy Ghost, come among us once again. Move once again. Move in that brother's life. Move in that sister's life. Move in that child's life. Lord, come once again. Come and take dominion. Holy Ghost, come and take dominion. Holy Ghost, come and glorify the name of Jesus Christ in this home, in this family, in this lives. In the name of Jesus, where you come in, darkness must go away. Holy Ghost, come, Spirit of light, Spirit of life, let every darkness, let them right now, and sit, and let them get out forevermore. Thank you, thank you, Father. We bless your name. Honor, adoration, worship, obedience, belongs to you alone. Reign forevermore. Thank you, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The last prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. May thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Pray. Hallelujah. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless you. We bless you. We thank God for your lives. Happy Easter once again. We'll be going to God's word now. I'll be hearing God's word as God leads us today. And I just want to remove every disturbance, every hindrance, anything that if you need to use the, 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 the toilet, just go do that now because God is going to speak to you. Amen. God is going to do something in your life. Amen. He will use his word to clean you. Amen. You will be cleansed. You are cleansed in Jesus' name. Amen. By the power of his word. Amen. 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 Speak, Lord, and my heart will obey. The words that you speak into my heart today. Provide for my every 
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we assemble your prayers once again. We come to your throne of grace. By your mercies and by your grace. Yes, Lord. By the blood of your son, Christ Jesus. We come into your bosom, O oh Lord. Amen. And we confess our dependency on you. Amen. Lord, we need you. you Send forth your word today. Amen. And touch every part of our lives. Amen. For you sent your word and you hid us. Yes. Let your word heal our soul. Amen. Let it heal our spirit. Amen. And let it heal our body. Amen. Father, let your light descend upon us. For the entrance of your word enter at your light. And let every darkness, every bondage, every misgivings, let them be removed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare your glory. We declare your kingdom over us today. Amen. Prevail, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ. As we abide in your presence, whatever will be a hindrance or a bondage in the spirit of physical realm, where we abide right now, in the homes of your children, Father, let your fire burn them to ashes. Amen. Thank you, Father, Thank you, Lord. for the total liberty that is in your bosom. Yes, Lord. We receive with thanksgiving. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Once again, we want to wish everyone a very wonderful Easter. I will pray that the prevailing spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ will abide with everyone. Amen. As God leads us today, we'll be talking on a crucified life. A crucified life. I've been listening to uh, different uh, messages today and also in years gone by and we always talk about the resurrected life the resurrected life of our Lord Jesus Christ and in most cases we also uh, bring that to relate with the resurrected life the believer is living But God wants you to know that this resurrected life in, will come in full effect when Jesus comes again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in the resurrected life, there is no sin. There is no sickness. Oh. There is no bondage. Mm -hmm. So God has given, that, given us that in context. That that is what will come to us. Because if you are living the resurrected life right now, then that life is not worthy. Because you are still full of every manner of his, just like myself, and sicknesses still abound, bondages, hardship. We know when Jesus resurrected, if that is what we are talking about, all these things, they no longer had power mm -hmm. over him. Yeah. So when the Lord says, we have been resurrected with Christ Jesus. It's, it's in a contest. Yeah. That is what will happen yeah. when he comes back again. Amen. Now, what life are we living? A crucified life. In the book of Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, Apostle Paul said, I am crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. He did not say, I was Crucified. You see, Christ was crucified. It's a past tense. We do not say Christ is crucified. We don't use that term. A continuous term of, or a present tense that Christ is crucified. We say Christ was crucified. Because Christ was crucified and it's a done deal. It's finished. But Apostle Paul said, I am not I was. Mm -hmm. 
Believers of God, I believe you are hearing me. So that you would know and understand the life you are supposed to be living. He said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yeah. But the life I now live is the life of the Son of God. Mm -hmm. What is that life? A crucified life. Mm -hmm. Daily, we are crucified. Yeah. What is this crucifixion? Crucifixion is sacrifice. Yeah. The resurrected life is the harvest. Is the glorified life. Just like the Lord said, that seed time and harvest time will not cease. So the crucified life is a, a life of sacrifice. Yeah. It's a sacrificed life. The believer lives a sacrificed life. Yeah. That is, the believer is continually and perpetually Living a life of sacrifice. Yeah. In another way, the believer lives a life of giving. Mm -hmm. Because giving is sacrifice. Yeah. And sacrifice is to be crucified. Because yeah. Jesus was crucified. Today we celebrate the resurrection. But let me tell you, the resurrection emphasizes and gives power and magnifies the crucifixion. Yeah. It is the crucifixion that gave rise to the resurrection. Mm -hmm. So the resurrection comes to tell us how important the crucifixion is. Yeah. The harvest comes to tell you how important the sowing yeah. is. Yeah. The seed time. The harvest comes to tell you how important the time of sowing seed, how important it is. Yeah. The life we are living now is a crucified life. It's the life of the Son of God. Yeah. We are living the crucified life, the life of giving, the life of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Our living God said in John chapter 3 verse 16 that God so much loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, he sowed that seed, he crucified his son. Yeah. <laughs> God gave. It never said anywhere God received. Our Father who art in heaven, our God is in the business of giving. Yeah. It's not in the business of receiving. Mm -hmm. Everything you see, we are all giving. In the spirit of physical realm. Yeah. Jesus came, he never received. But he gave. Mm -hmm. He gave all true. That's the life of a believer. We are crucified with Christ. It is in giving that you can receive. Yeah. If you are someone that wants to receive, then I give you a secret today. I give you a revelation. If you are people that believe in divination, which you call prophecy, I give you prophecy. I give you divination. That you want and harvest, then brother, sister, so seed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want glorification, brother, sister, be crucified. Yeah. Whatever you want, if you want to receive, brother, sister, give. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you forgive, you give. Mm -hmm. When you love, you give. Yeah. When you have mercy, you give. Yeah. When you do not re revenge, you are giving. Mm -hmm. When you do not revenge, you are giving. Mm -hmm. You are giving mercy. You are being, you are giving something to that person that deserve to be revenged upon. Yeah. You are giving them leniency. Our own is to continually give yes. as believers. 
When you pray for someone, you are giving. You are giving. So it is the only way you receive. All men, all wants to receive. Yes. That is carnality. That is the world. Even people that do not give, people that is difficult for them to ever give, try to give them something, they will quickly and readily and happily collect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They will readily receive, but they will never want to give. Because to receive is flesh. To give is spirit. Mm -hmm. To give is God. Yeah. To receive is kind of. yeah. All wants to receive. Very few wants to give. Very few will give their life. Very few will do what God asks the believer to do. Easter demonstrates that when you give, you will receive in abundance. Yes. Amen. But we want to preach the receiving. Most churches today, most believers, most preachers, I do not fault them. Because it's according to the revelation of the Holy Spirit to each and every one yeah. you speak. But most would Speak on the resurrection, which is the receiving. Mm -hmm. I will want to receive it. Let the resurrection of spirit come upon me. Yeah. You see, when I'm praying that prayer, I'm excited. Yeah. But I never pray. It's difficult to pray. Let the spirit of crucifixion yeah. come upon me. Amen. You will hear very little. Very few people pray that prayer. Let the spirit of the crucifixion come upon me. But every one of us will pray. Let the resurrection of spirit come upon me. Because mankind wants to always receive a finished work. Yeah. No one wants to labor. No one wants to be crucified. But the Lord has called us to be crucified with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Apostle Paul said, Galatians 2.20 I am crucified with Christ. It's a continuous and present tense. Yeah. And every day, he said we are killed every day. All day long we are killed. Yeah. What does that mean? All day long, every moment, we are being crucified. Mm -hmm. We are continually sacrificing. We are continually giving. It sounds foolish, but that is the lesson mankind has come to learn on this earth. Because it's when you are giving, you are in God's image. But God is a giver. God is a giver. That is the nature of God. To continually give. The natural man is self-centered and selfish. Yeah. He never gives. But the spiritual man is naturally giving and not self-centered. So let's giving. That is the nature of God. Mm -hmm. God came to teach Abraham, the father of the faithfuls, faithfuls a very good lesson which himself came to epitomize and demonstrate yeah. by sending Jesus Christ in the flesh to perform it. We'll go to the book of Genesis chapter 22. Genesis chapter 22, verse 1 to 3, then verse 11 to 14. If you are there, help me. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I have tell, which I will tell of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, 
and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Amen. Amen. So God called Abraham. Said Abraham, I want you to sacrifice your, your son, yeah. Isaac, unto me. I want you to give. Mm -hmm. Do not forget, nothing God will ever ask from you that you have not received. When you are a receiver, you are a debtor. Mm -hmm. You are in debt. Anyone that receives becomes a debtor. When you receive from God, you are a debtor to God. Mm -hmm. Our life, we are indebted to God. Mm -hmm. The goodness we have, we are indebted to God. Yes. The mercy we receive, we are indebted to God. Mm -hmm. The air we breathe, we are indebted to God. Yes. As a result, God demands from us. Yeah. When you receive, you are a debtor. When you give, you have settled your debts. Yeah. Yeah. So God wants you not to be a debtor. So he says, the believer is to live the life of giving. Amen. Amen. So he said, I, Abraham, that thing I gave to you, you are in debt to me. I want you to give it back to me. God was addressing Abraham to remove carnality away from him. Yeah. To remove the spirit of possession away from him. Mm -hmm. To remove the spirit of covetousness away from him. Mm -hmm. To remove the spirit of entitlement. Away from him. Yeah. So God was not interested in killing Isaac. God was interested in teaching Abraham a lesson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do we know that God was not interested? Because when Abraham was practically going to give the life of Isaac to God, God held back his hand. Yeah. And he said, Abraham, you have learned the lesson. Can you please read from verse 11 to 14? And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his own. And Abraham went and took the ram, and offered him up for a bond offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. And it, said, and it is said to this day, in the mouth of the Lord it shall be seen. Amen. Amen. When we continue to pray, Jehovah Jireh, provide for me, Jehovah Jireh. Now, you do not follow the sequence. What was the sequence? What made Abraham to receive that abundance? What made Abraham to receive that good result? Which you want to have. For you to have that good result of Abraham, you have to follow it in sequence. Yeah. For you to receive the resurrection of life, you have to also follow it in sequence. Mm -hmm. That there was first a crucified life. We always close our eyes to some. Mm -hmm. I want to receive. That is why many prayers are not being answered. Yeah. And you may be you be giving the, the, the reason to where you are fellowshipping to whoever, to one witch, fictional witch or wizard. Very few people, witches and wizards are troubling. Mm -hmm. Very few people, demons are troubling. Very few people, the enemy is troubling. Majority have been troubled by themselves. Yeah. By their life. Abraham yielded unto God. Yeah. Abraham gave. As a result, God demonstrated himself that is Jehovah Jerry. By giving to him in abundance. Mm -hmm. Not only did he give him an immediate satisfaction. And provided a ram for the sacrifice. 
But he also gave him sons as many as the stars in the night sky. Amen. Amen. Abundance. Amen. In the book of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 50 to 53. Matthew, chapter 27. Please open to it wherever you are. I want you to follow me now. God, God wants to, it's you and me. God wants to anoint. Amen. God wants to imprint Amen. his word upon your soul. Amen. So pick up your Bible, open to Matthew 27, verse 50 to 53. If you are there, you help me. Jesus, when he, when he had cried again with a loud voice, he read up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain. From the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rock rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. Now Jesus was sent to this earth to die, yeah. to be crucified, mm -hmm. and the Father gave unto the world his only begotten Son. But the Son, when he came in the flesh, he himself gave himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not that the Father has given, the Son receives. His Son himself gave. Because the Father gave his only begotten Son. But it was not left for the Son if he would give himself. No, we, we all always look at the Father giving him the only begotten Son. Well, the Son also perhaps will have the mind of his own. Yeah. And say, the Father has given, but I refuse to give. Mm -hmm. But because the Son is in the image of the Father, that is the nature of the Father. Mm -hmm. The Son couldn't have done otherwise because the nature of the Father is in him. We are not sons and daughters of God. Amen. We can't do otherwise but to reveal the nature of our Father who has begotten us. Amen. Jesus came in the flesh. He became like you or me. Like as I am now. Will I give as my Father gave me? Will I give myself? But Jesus, because he was in the nature of of his father himself gave his life. Yeah. And the word of God says in verse 50. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice. And he yielded his ghost. He finally gave his life. Yeah. Yeah. He finally gave his life. When Jesus gave his life. There was an immediate harvest. From God. Amen. There was an immediate harvest. Amen. From God. The word of God says. The enmity. The separation. The spiritual bondage. Yeah. All mankind has been in. From the garden of Eden. Immediately was broken. Amen. An immediate harvest because of Jesus giving. When you give in the spirit realm, there's an immediate harvest. Mm -hmm. Your account is credited. In the spirit realm, when anytime you give, anytime you forgive, anytime you help, anytime you love, anytime you don't revenge, anytime you give a happy hand, anytime. You just do that which God says you should do. Or you re replicate the image of your father yeah. who art in heaven. Yeah. Immediately in the spirit realm, your account will be credited. Amen. Because the account of all mankind was credited. Yeah. Immediately Jesus gave. And the grace were opened. The resurrection happened. Amen. Even before the third day, mankind, those that have died that 
the righteous from Adam through Enoch through Noah Abraham Moses and all the likes immediately the word of God says the grave was opened Amen. after and many bodies of his saints which slept they arose Now when, uh, then in 53 he says, and came out of the grave after his resurrection. It was a done deal. But when Jesus bodily resurrected, then they all started showing the says. Yeah. But the moment he gave up the ghost, the resurrection happened to them. Yeah. Amen. The physical manifestation came after Jesus himself was resurrected in the body. They now saw them walking around the streets. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. The believer is to live this lifestyle. That is what God has called us to live. God gave us his son. Yeah. And everything in life. What have we to give to him? Mm. What have you given to God? What have I given to God? Everything you will give, he owned them. Yeah. But one thing, God has no control over. Or he has decided not to have control over. It's our free will. Mm -hmm. God has no control over your free will. He has decided to restrain himself. Not to control your free will. So when you give your free will to God, that is wonderful. Yeah. When you on your own, you receive the nature of God by forgiving, by loving, by helping, demonstrating the things of God, by sacrificing, by obeying. You are willingly doing it. Yeah. That one. There has no value. Amen. Nothing on this earth. No gold. No diamond. No silver. Is paragon you can paragonize with it. Mm -hmm. It's precious before God. Amen. So think of what you give to God. We give excuses. We give reasons. Why it is not possible. God knows I've got children. Yeah. God knows I've got a marriage. God knows I'm sick. God knows I have no car. God knows I have this. Mm -hmm. God knows I don't have that. My brother and my sister. God also know that if you want, you can. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We are rejoicing in Easter. And we are praying, jubilating, let the resurrection of life come. That is very exciting. I want to eat the finished food. Yeah. Who will not take that? But I tell you, what you should pray for, that the crucified life should come upon you. Amen. I want us to look finally at the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 36. Romans chapter 8, verse 36. You are to live a crucified life. Mm -hmm. We are too selfish. Yeah. We are too self-centered. We want to receive where we have not sold. Mm -hmm. We want to profit from another man's sweat. We want to receive that which we have not gathered. Yeah. Sometimes we even pray that the work of the unbelievers, of the sinful, God should gather it to, to the righteous. Mm. The man that has been sweating, creating businesses, carrying loans and paying them back, and now build an empire of finance. You, the believer, quietly in your room, you not raise a finger 
and you are fasting and praying that the Lord should gather the wealth of that man and come and quietly give to you. The resurrection life, the harvest life. Mm -hmm. That is what believers are praying for. <laughs> How sweet it is. Mm -hmm. But the Lord says, I am crucified with Christ. Amen. Not I was crucified. You that wants the resurrection, have you been crucified? Don't you know that if you were not crucified or you are not crucified with Christ, you can't resurrect with him. No man will resurrect with Christ on the last day without first not living a crucified life in this realm. Not the one of, but a, life, a lifetime of crucifixion. Can someone please read Romans chapter 8, verse 36? Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Romans chapter 8, verse 36. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. The word of God says, as it is written, for the sake of God, for the sake of God, yeah. for the sake of his righteousness, Amen. we are killed all the day long. This Apostle Paul writing, and I, I just examine it. Why he was writing it, so now, someone that, has been, that is killed all the day long is supposed to be dead. Yeah. What is he saying? I am living a crucified life. Yeah. Continually I'm being killed. Mm. It is self-afflicted. I don't do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I not do what God wants me to do. Yeah. So if I don't do what I want to do, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. I'm being killed. Crucification. A crucified life. Jesus told Apostle Peter, when you are not old, when you are not in leadership, when you are not in authority, when you come to maturity in the spirit, others will pull your hand to where you don't want to go. Yeah. A crucified life. You now do things no longer according to your interest or desires, but according to the interest and desires of others. Amen. A crucified life. Mm -hmm. That's the life God has called us. Yeah. We are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slayers. That is how it is. Mm -hmm. No longer my will, but let thy will be done. Amen. A crucified life. The life of a believer is a crucified life. Yeah. Easter comes to magnify Good Friday. Yeah. Easter comes to show how big the crucifixion is. Yeah. Amen. The crucifixion is everything. Yeah. That is the life that will bring you the resurrection. Amen. The seed time is everything. That is why when we are sowing seed, we should sow bountifully. Mm -hmm. We know when we sow, we are not throwing away. Because seed time will bring in harvest time. The crucified life will bring the resurrected life. Amen. The resurrected life without the crucifixion is not possible. Mm -hmm. It leads you nowhere but damnation. Yeah. Because 
you will be in falsehood. Because mm -hmm. it will not be genuine. To see young men and women coming into ministry, they want to start reaping the fruits in six months, one year, some even weeks. They don't know what God has called them to do. Yeah. God has called you, man or woman of God, to live a crucified life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when, the, when the, they have come of age, they not believe they have enough to buy an aircraft, a yacht, all the goodies of this world. Yeah. And to, the, to them, that is living a crucified life. Mm. Mm. I said there's no more human beings on this earth under affliction. If there still is, then you have not come to that stage of living a resurrected life. Yeah. You are still in the business of living a crucified life. Yes. Maybe buy a good van yeah. and the remaining 10, 1 million pounds for the aircraft, use it to help those that need God's help. Oh, man. The more credit will be added to your spiritual life. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. That's good. We bless God. Yeah. We'll end with 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9 to 10. And I will read. Second Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 9 to 10. Apostle Paul says by the power of the Holy Ghost. Said, but we have, but we have the sentence of death in ourselves. That we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raised the dead. Apostle Paul says, all Christians, all believers have been sentenced to death. That means all believers have been sentenced to a crucified life. Yeah. The sentence of death is in us. Mm -hmm. That is the life you have been called mm -hmm. to live. Amen. I'm speaking to you Billionaire preacher. Speaking to you, billionaire preacher. Because the much you have came from fellow human beings. Mm -hmm. Angels didn't bring it to you. It was the sweat of men and women that you accumulated unto yourself alone. Mm -hmm. See how sweet it is. But it's a sweetness in the flesh. Mm -hmm. God has called you to live a crucified life. Yeah. The sentence of death is in you. It's in me. The sentence of death. That we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raised the dead. The resurrection will come by his grace and power. Yeah. We are not to resurrect ourselves. Many have resurrected themselves and they are living the resurrectional life. Mm -hmm. The life of abundance. Mm. God wants you to be in abundance. Don't get me wrong. But while you are in abundance, God wants to look at your neighbor. As you look at your neighbor, exorcists will only come only by when some are left behind. Mm -hmm. 
SSCs can never come when all are taken along. SSCs. Billions upon billions that four, five, six generations cannot finish. Mm -hmm. You accumulate it and you are living a resurrected life. But Lord says, live a crucified life. Amen. There are many that are looking up to you yeah. that if only God would touch this person. Maybe some of the problems in your locality, in your city, in your state, in your neighborhood, maybe that problem will no longer be there. Yeah. And the name of God will be glorified. Amen. When the world, when the church is doing more goodness through the servants and members, that would be true evangelism. Mm -hmm. okay. Not the miracles of you laying hands on people and making them fall. That is the true miracle. The true miracle is lifting up life from the depths of the earth mm -hmm. and making them to become human yeah, beings. Man. That's the miracle that will help mankind. Oh, yes. So the word of God says in 10, verse 10, who delivered us so great a death and don't deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. You have been called to live the, resurrection, the, the crucified life. Yeah. Today, we now have an evidence of what will happen to us. If we live a crucified life, Jesus Christ has demonstrated and given us an evidence of what awaits us. A resurrected life is no longer under the elements. It's no longer under the constraint of the flesh. It's no longer under sin. It's no longer under sicknesses. It's no longer under affliction. Mm -hmm. If you are a person or a believer and you are yet under any of these things, you are that exalted man of God who still take your injection, your tablets, who is still tired. Who is still having pains? Who is still fighting sin mm -hmm. in your life? Then you are not living a resurrected life yet. I come to announce to you that rather have this mindset, know that God has called you to live a crucified life. Yeah. When Jesus comes again, he will resurrect you up. Amen. He will resurrect me up. Amen. And will then live that life of complete and total salvation. Amen. Let's just stand as pray. Hallelujah. I just want you to pray wherever you are. If you look at the different uh, networks, those that are even at this time praying that more money should come, revelations, divinations, the things of the flesh, they have thousands and thousands of followers. That is to be expected. True children of God Never you lose hope or lose mind. Amen. For the Lord says, when you speak the language of the world, the world will hear you yeah. and they will come in multitude. But when you speak the language of the kingdom, only few will come. Yeah. For many are called, but few are chosen. He said they will heap up preachers because they have got itching ears. Those that will preach what is in their mind, those are those they will follow. 
or those that will preach the word of God, what is in God's mind, those ones, they will turn their back. We know these things. So don't be discouraged. Hold on to your faith. Pray that God should give you the grace to live this crucified life. The life that will bring glory to his name. The life of, of forgiveness. The life that loves. That do no harm. The life that does not take revenge. The life that lives peaceably with all men. The life that wants to please God. Pray that prayer. For this is God's will concerning you. For when you suffer with him, you will also be glorified with him. Anytime you do these things, you are partaking of Christ's passion and crucifixion. You are dying with him. As a result, you will be resurrected with him. Amen. The reward is coming. The full reward is on its way. Amen. But even now, as you do these things, you are in God's bosom. Amen. And no evil will be able to overcome you. Amen. For that could not hold him captive. Neither any form of death will be able to hold us captive. As we, are, as we die every day, no death, no affliction will be able to hold you captive Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will certainly try. The world will bring hell against you, my brothers and sisters. Yeah. If indeed you are for Jesus, the world will bring hell against you when we say the world, I'm not saying someone that is a billion kilometers away. It can be the person of the same room, mm -hmm. the same home, the same family, yeah. the same neighborhood, mm -hmm. the same race as you. Yeah. They will hurt you for no practical justifiable reasons. Mm -hmm. But the Lord loves you. Amen. And if the Lord is for you, that is all you need. Heavenly Father, we all come to rejoice and thank you Amen. for this day you have reminded us again you, of what shall befall us yes, on the last day. As Christ Jesus resurrected, even so we shall be resurrected Amen. and be seated with him in the heavenly places Amen. far above all principalities Amen. and powers. Amen. As Jesus lived the crucified life, Father, we now pray, help us from today to live the crucified life. Amen. For indeed, we are crucified with Christ. Yes, Lord. Nevertheless, we live. Amen. But the life we now live is the life of the Son of God. Amen. In the flesh. Help us to live this life. Help us never to give in to the laws of sin and Satan. Help your churches. Help your servants. Help your people to live this crucified life. Amen. We thank you, Lord, thank you, for you have given us power. You have given us strength. You have given us yourself Amen. to overcome. Even so, we are overcomers Amen. of whatever affliction that comes to us. Amen. We have overcome. Amen. Through Jesus Christ who delivered us. Amen. I pray, Lord, for everyone that is afflicted, that is under the yoke, 
Everyone that is sick this hour. Everyone that is just asking that you hear their voice. Father, I agree with them. Yes, Lord. Lord, let this sickness not be unto death. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because of the blood of the Lamb. Yes, Lord. Father, let this sickness not be unto death. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them arise. Yes, Lord. And let their lives become a written epistle. Amen. That the whole world will see and say, I will want to know that God that delivered that sister, Amen. that delivered that brother, that one that they said will die. But she lives. Yes. He lives. Amen. Father, let it be the case of your people. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For you have made all things possible. Yes. Because you have given us the Holy Ghost, nothing is not impossible unto us. Lord. For it is not by our power, oh. but by the power of the Holy Ghost, Amen. which you have given to us. Amen. Let us not live according to the power that lives in us. No longer to be cowed by circumstances. But to rise up above them and prove your name mighty. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For this glorious day. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the privilege of life. Thank you. Thank you for making us partake of the flesh. Amen. For it is only mortality that can lead to immortality. Amen. Because we have partook of mortality by the grace of Jesus Christ. Lord. We shall partake of immortality. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. For you never fail. Yes, Lord. You never put your shame. Oh. Those that put their trust on you. Until you be all the glory. Yes, Lord. Honor. Adoration, Amen. obedience, Amen. and thanksgiving Amen. forevermore. Yes, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I just thank God for your lives. Something fundamental and wonderful, beautiful magnanimous, marvelous in the spirit has happened in your life. Amen. I want you from today to trust in God. Amen. Because the Holy Ghost is in you. Yes. Amen. I want you now to commune with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Commune with knowledge. When you are alone, speak to the Holy Ghost Amen. like as if you can behold him. Let him know you know that it's in you. And the Holy Ghost will arise Amen. on your behalf. Amen. I bless God for your life. Thank you, Jesus. Enjoy today knowing that the Lord is for you. Yes. That is the biggest source of our joy. Yes. Not the food, not the drink. The biggest source of our joy is that God is for us. Amen. Because of that, the lock lockdown has no effect in us. Amen. Amen. Continue to pray. Continue to fellowship in his bosom. Amen. I invite you to prayers on Wednesday by half six in the evening, UK time. We'll be hearing short exhortation and prayers. Let's be one in spirit. Mm -hmm. And I tell you one thing. Not many days, weeks from now, you will see fundamental changes in your life. Amen. Because our God, He lives forever. Amen. Man. God bless you. I look forward to you. May, your name, may the living God forever be for you. Amen. I cover your life with the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Take all the glory, Lord. Yes, Lord. Take all the honor. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.